Cholesterol biosynthesis involves four main stages. The synthesis of mevalonate, activated isoprene, squalene, and cholesterol. The first stage begins in the cytoplasm, where thiolase or acetyl-CoA acetyltransferase condenses to acetyl-CoA into the 4-carbon acetoacetyl-CoA, releasing a free coenzyme A. HMG-CoA synthase then condenses acetoacetyl-CoA with another molecule of acetyl-CoA to synthesize beta-hydroxy-beta-methylglural-CoA, also known as HMG-CoA. As I mentioned in my previous video on ketone body metabolism, HMG-CoA is a precursor to ketone body biosynthesis, which involves HMG-CoA lyase. The committed step for cholesterol biosynthesis is HMG-CoA reductase, located on the membrane of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which reduces HMG-CoA to mevalonate, coupling to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+, releasing coenzyme A. During the second stage, mevalonate 5-phosphotransferase transfers phosphate group from ATP to mevalonate, producing 5-phosphomevalonate and ADP. Phosphomevalonate kinase then transfers another group of phosphate from ATP to 5-phosphomevalonate, producing 5-pyrophosphomevalonate and ADP. Next, pyrophosphomevalonate decarboxylase first transfers another phosphate group from ATP onto the hydroxyl group of the third carbon. Then both the phosphate and nearby carboxyl group leaves, forming carbon dioxide and delta-3 isopentyl pyrophosphate, abbreviated as IPP which is known as activated isoprene, which contains 5 carbons and also serves as a precursor to other isoprenoids. IPP can also isomerize to another activated isoprene, known as dimethylallyl pyrophosphate, abbreviated as DPP. During the third stage, prenyl transferase catalyzes a head-to-tail condensation of the two activated isoprenes, forming the 10-carbon intermediate geranial pyrophosphate. The head refers to the end where pyrophosphate is joined. In this case, the tail of IPP condenses with the head of DPP. Next, perennial transferase catalyzes another head-to-tail condensation between IPP and geranial pyrophosphate, releasing pyrophosphate and producing the 15-carbon intermediate farnesyl pyrophosphate. Finally, squalene synthase catalyzes a head-to-head -head condensation of two molecules of farnesyl pyrophosphate with the elimination of both pyrophosphates, producing the 30-carbon intermediate squalene. This reaction is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. During the fourth stage, squalene monooxygenase adds one oxygen atom from oxygen to the end of squalene chain, forming squalene 2,3-epoxide. The reduction of the other oxygen atom is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. In animals, squalene 2,3-epoxide undergoes cyclization to form lanosterol, which contains the four ring characteristic of steroid nucleus. Lanosterol is finally converted to cholesterol in a series of about 20 reactions. In plants, squalene 2,3-epoxide gives rise to stigma sterol, whereas in fungi it gives rise to ergosterol. Small quantities of cholesterol are converted to oxysteroids such as 25-hydroxycholesterol, which functions as a feedback inhibitor of cholesterol biosynthesis that stimulates proteolysis of HNG-CoA reductase which is the committed step of the pathway. Cholesterol biosynthesis is also inhibited by AMP-dependent kinase, abbreviated as AMPK, which senses high AMP concentration, indicating low ATP concentration and low energy level, and therefore decreases anabolic pathway. In addition, glucagon, triggered by low glucose level, stimulates phosphorylation and inactivation of HMG-CoA reductase, whereas insulin, triggered by high glucose level, stimulates dephosphorylation and activation of HMG-CoA reductase. Finally, cholesterol biosynthesis is regulated by a small family of proteins known as steroregulatory element binding proteins, abbreviated as SREBP, which are stimulated by low levels of cholesterol and oxysterol and serves as a transcriptional activator of HMG-CoA reductase. Cholesterol serves as a precursor to many biomolecules. Cholesterol can be converted to bile acids, which serve as emulsifiers in the intestine, converting large particles of fat into tiny micelles, greatly reducing the surface at which digestive lipases can act. Cholesterol is the precursor to all steroid hormones. First, cholesterol undergoes hydroxylation by the mixed function oxidase cytochrome P450 to form dihydroxycholesterol, which is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water and the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Next, dihydroxycholesterol undergoes another oxidation reaction catalyzed by desmolase to form pregnenolone, which can be converted to progesterone in a couple steps. 
Progesterone can then be converted to various steroid hormones, including glucocorticoids in the adrenal cortex, such as cortisol that functions in metabolic regulation in response to short-term stress. Mineral corticoids such as aldosterone regulate blood pressure through the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Testosterone and estradiol are sex hormones that regulate our reproductive systems. More details about these pathways have been covered in my animal physiology video on the endocrine system. Lastly, cholesterol can be converted to cholesterol esters through the action of acyl-CoA cholesterol acyltransferase, abbreviated as ACAT, which transfer a fatty acid from coenzyme A to the hydroxyl group of cholesterol. Cholesterol esters function in lipid storage and transport, which will be covered in a future video.